Brave in the Redwoods is the first DLC map added into Infinite Warfare Zombies. Here's five things it did wrong. Rave has the weakest celebrity cameo in IW Zombies. While I have nothing against Kevin Smith, he has no relation to the horror slasher theme of the map. The layout of Rave can be a bit tedious. It can be hard to tell exactly where you are at any given time, and a lot of the map is unsurvivable mid-round without power weapons. The Rave mode was a big selling point when the map was released, but is honestly kind of pointless. It's only used during the easter egg and makes the map harder by sending the map's boss after you. I don't like the way space is used on Rave. The mainland is often too tight to survive on without power weapons, which means I spend just about every game on Turtle Island, which is so wide that training becomes trivial. Rave unfortunately doesn't fully commit to its horror theme. The Rave mode completely ruins the visuals of the map and all of the characters and songs throughout the map reference events that happened a decade after the height of the slasher genre. 